So after being blinded by an error in textures on the Eververse store, it's time to see what is available for the Bright Dust variety. So right on the front page, we have a few shaders as usual. First being Argent Terratorn, which is one of those shaders that initially it looks a lot weird because there's the red here, but then you see a lot more blue here. And in terms of this armor, the red actually shows a bit. But in most things, the red doesn't show. So it's a pretty solid looking shader in here and there, but eh, it's hard to vouch for it. Then we also have Golden Age Wand, which is very similar. It's a very Callus style. But then again, if you want to look like you're a Callus shadow, there is a variety of other Callus themed shaders that could do a little bit of a better job. And for Transmats, we have one from Season of the Chosen, the Vex Incursion Entrance, which is the Vex uh, Entrance, but orange now. So... I guess that. And we also have the Synth Howl from last season, which is a part of the 3D printed slash Back to the Future set slash Neo Muna set. You can definitely tell it's a mix of variety of themes. Then we also have the Mime Time Emote, which is, uh, well, you're being a mime and you're stuck in a box. But that's quite literally all it is. You only, you know, wow, you only checked two walls as well. That's not a box at that point, that's just a corner. Then into the main store for the variety, we have safety first for, oh, okay, I guess it just closed my menu on me. Now I'm back to that. For shaders, safety first, which is back from Forsaken, which is a very bright orange. I forget if this was Vanguard or this was literally just an orange, oh, an orange shader they made. But if you want to look like you are trying to be a hunter out in the, in the field being seen, there you go. And from the same season of Forsaken, we have Flavido Core, which is a very odd tone one because usually it would be green with the yellow undertones, but this is pretty much backwards with the green or the yellow primary. And Coastal Suede from Season of Opulence, which is a pretty coastal look. They have a fan of just trying to make aquatic looking shaders in variety. This one's a dark blue, dark black, darkish. So you look like deep sea, but also bluish. Then first light from the same season, which is hard to say what this was supposed to be reminiscent of. Because looking at it, I might think it's Hive Guardian-ish, but it's a bit too, what's the word, saturated in color for that. And then for our transmats, we have the Daito Capsule Entrance to pop out of a pill. Then we also have the Crystalis Entrance from Season Lost, which is you popping out of a Savathun crystal, I guess. And the also Swirling Leaf Entrance, which is just another blue rarity shader that was made purple and recolored. And for the main variety, we have the Bailing Water Emote from this season, which is basically the trying to uh, not be the Titan sub and drown uh, emote, which uh, I'm pretty sure you just kind of give up. Er, wait, that's okay. That's a weird shader because it looks like you stopped because you stopped taking on water, but then there is still all the water. And then, of course, we have Canned Rage, which I guess is just, uh, this is the average Kyle crushing a monster can, uh, emote, I guess, from Season of the Risen. And then we also have the Constant Vigilance Shell from this season, which I believe this is a part of a 3D, or this is, well, I forget what set this was a part of, but it's one of those seasonal, uh, Eververse sets that have a spit, ship and sparrow in contingent with it. And we also have the Atlas Runner from Season of the Hunt, which is a weird looking shader, but still a pretty thematic look. Wouldn't lie, I wouldn't be surprised if this is a No Man's Sky crossover homage. And we also have Ozymandias, which is for the shotguns of the season. Like, if you still don't know, this is meant for the last man standing, but at the same time, because it is a very similar model and use, if you actually check with the shotgun uh, until its return, I think it is. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Until its return. Yep. This shotgun uses a very similar model, just retaken and shadered. You can also apply that ornament to it in case you wanted multiple uses out of it. Then, lastly, we have an ornament for the Outbreak Perfected, the Archon Prime, which came out last season. It's a very solid look because it's very much a Fallen look for a SIVA rifle, which makes sense, obviously, because when the Fallen initially found SIVA, they used it more than anyone else. So if you wanted this to look like another Fallen imitation weapon, there you go. And lastly, as always, we have the crappy Ghost Projection that always comes out, which... I'm not calling anyone out on the Bungie team saying they made a shitty thing, it's just who actually uses these things. 
And with that note, that is everything available in the Eververse store. And of course, like I always say, next week they will be rotated out. And it will be a long time before they come back to the Bright Dust store. It could be even longer until they're available to buy for anything other than silver at all. So if you want to get it for free currency, get it while you can. And on that note, my name is Matt Scorpion, and I will see you in the next video.